Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Vampire Freaks haul which is really exciting. I'm really excited about all of the pieces. I hope you enjoy this video. Do like and subscribe if you do enjoy it and I will get straight into the video. So I've heard of Vampire Freaks before. I know it used to be like a, a chat or something where like goths could go and talk to one another but I never knew it was actually a shop so I came across this post on Instagram from this uh, girl I follow and she posted a photo of her in this really cool like haunted house top and I was like where is that from <laughs> I found that it was from vampire freaks and then I had a look at their profile and they had so much stuff that I liked so I did end up placing an order I'm sure I've come across their shop before at some point but because it is in America I think I just thought oh the shipping will probably be too much so I kind of put it out my mind for a little bit but actually the shipping wasn't too bad compared to other shipping prices from other businesses in America I'll go through all the prices and the shipping at the end so I've got two pieces of clothing a pin a very cute soft toy <laughs> and also a bag and I'm so so impressed with everything that I've got um, and I'm sure I'll be going back to place another order because they just have so many different like designs and such a wide range of different things on their website so there's definitely some more that I would be interested in but they basically have their own range of vampire freaks stuff and then they also stock other brands like Killstar, Sourpuss, Lively Ghosts and like quite a few American brands i'm sure i saw dark in love on there as well so there's quite a few other brands but all of the items i bought were from vampire freaks apart from one which was from lively ghosts what should i start with i'll start with the extra things they put in your order so there's this little card it says it's a wendigo these are very creepy <laughs> but there's this little card you could definitely put this as a print if it's your kind of thing and i loved like the whole branding of this so on the back it's got this little message it says greetings creature of the night our undead hearts are filled with gratitude for your support vampire freaks is here to feed your freak fashion appetite our exclusive items and underground brands from around the world will make you envy of all mortals check back every week for the latest in goth gear or risk being caught undead in last season's looks <laughs> So I just kind of loved that little message. It's a nice thank you message, but it's also kind of dark. <laughs> so it goes with the whole brand. And they also give you a 10% off code, which expires tomorrow. <laughs> they also give you some stickers. And these are two of their other designs. So they actually do these designs in like t-shirts and tote bags and a whole bunch of different things. So one of them is like a wolf man with this kind of graveyard scene in the background and then there's also this which looks like a devil of some kind so this is their other styles of artwork and i'm pretty sure that these are stickers so you also get those they also gave me a little pin badge this says vampire freaks and it kind of looks like the joker or some kind of scary clown so there's this little one and they also gave me a syringe pen <laughs> i actually used to have one of these i got this in another order like one similar and all the blood dried out which i thought was really weird but i think it's because of all like the hot weather we were having i think it just evaporated <laughs> so it's nice to have one with the blood in it again and this just says vampire freaks with their logo and as you can see all of the kind of liquid moves in there which is really cool so it's nice that they give you like some little extras because i feel like bigger businesses never do that so that's nice to see <laughs> so i'll start with the pin first and then i'll kind of get into the bigger items so i love lively ghosts when i've been out in america the past couple of times i always buy from them because i love their pins they are definitely my favorite pin company their pins are just really unique really detailed and like nothing i've really seen before and when i saw this one i nearly screamed so this is called the demon barber pin from lively ghosts it was 10 pounds i feel like their pins are usually around 10 pounds and the amount of detail in this is amazing and it's definitely like a 10 pound worth pin so this is what it looks like and it's a sweeney todd pin so it's got this like gray ornate frame and then as you can see it's got johnny depp sweeney todd in his pose with the straight edge razor there and the background is like 
red and almost glittery to look like blood i just absolutely love this it does have two pin backs on the back so it won't turn or anything it's just such a detailed pin other ones that i have from lively ghosts are this little jack skeleton pumpkin i'm pretty sure that's lively ghosts and also this beetlejuice pin i think those are all the ones on here from lively ghost but i've got a few on like my other pin banner i just absolutely love their pins and they also do some even more unusual ones like they do one inspired by sleepy hollow i think that spins and there's a jaws one that actually looks like water it's just so cool like their designs are amazing really glad to have this one in my collection i love sweeney todd i love johnny depp it's perfect <laughs> so this was the first item that i got i'll go on to the little soft toy and then i'll end with the clothing and the tote bag so I hummed and hard about this because I'm not supposed to be buying any more like soft toys. I do have quite a lot on my bed as you might be able to tell. <laughs> um, so I kind of hummed and hard about this but I've been after a Plague Doctor soft toy for such a long time. But they've either been like too cute or too creepy or not really what I was after. And when I saw this one I was like this is the perfect combination of cute and creepy he's just adorable he's actually called the plague doctor plush toy he was 26 pounds i don't think that's crazy for a kind of custom toy of this size and yeah he's just got his little white plague doctor mask with his eyes i think the eyes make it kind of cute looking and then it's got all of this stitching down here which i really like i like all the stitching on the mask i think that was a cool detail that they added and then he's got his little cloak with some buttons down it. Just really, really cute. And he also has a hat, of course. Now, this has been very bashed in, as you can see. I keep trying to, like, take it out. But when I lean him against stuff, it presses in. And it's just this brimmed hat. So you can see at the back where he's been leaning against things. It's kind of lost its shape a little bit. But that's what the hat looks like anyway. And it's got, like, a red like ribbon looking thing around it with some rivets at the top so that's my little plague doctor i really really like him he as i said he's the perfect kind of mix of cute and creepy and i really love plague doctors for some reason i think they're really like creepy but cool <laughs> so i'm really glad to have him the only thing i'd say i don't like about him is the hat like i like the detail of the hat but i think the hat just gets misshapen too easily and i think this would be better because this is actually hollow i think it would be better if it had stuffing in it to keep its shape because especially as it was sent from america to the uk like the hat was just a disaster <laughs> when it arrived so i think some stuffing in there would just help to keep its shape and so when it leans against like if you lean it against a cushion this doesn't like press in like that so that would be my only thing with this um this does have some kind of not cardboard but some type of material in it to keep it upright but again as you can see it is a little bit flimsy so that would be my only criticism of this but apart from that absolutely love him and i'm definitely glad that i got him because now i have a little plague doctor <laughs> and then i've got some clothing and a tote bag so i'll go through the clothing next i'll start with the top that kind of inspired this whole haul so this is called the haunted mansion tea and i got it in a men's long sleeved with bats on the arms so basically i found their clothing a little bit confusing on the website because they didn't always have photos of someone wearing all of the styles but i really like that they have such a wide range of styles so they basically do like a woman's vest top i think they do a men's vest top or like one of those scoop what's it called like a racer back sounds right one of those like longer vest tops that i feel like people wear to the gym um, they do one of those, they do a men's vest top, they do a men's short sleeve t-shirt, they do a men's long sleeve t-shirt and with this one it has bats on the arms and then you can also have the version of the long sleeve one without the bats and then there's also a women's scoop neck top which would be like a bit more form fitting and like a lower kind of neckline and I think that's all of them and some of them they have crop tops as well so they've definitely got the range of styles which I really like but as I said I would have liked to see more photos of people wearing the scoop neck ones in particular because I had to hunt through their Instagram to try and see like how low the scoop neck 
sits if the design is moved down just things like that so i ended up going as i said with the men's long sleeve t-shirt this is kind of like a unisex one to be honest but i think they call it men's because it's quite a high neckline but you can still put like a choker with it and it doesn't look weird it's not like it the top comes up to here or anything so i got it in a small i did go by the size chart and this is perfect it's kind of like baggy enough where it's really comfortable but not too baggy where it doesn't look flattering anymore like it's the perfect kind of size for me and the design of this is gorgeous and i i just love like these long sleeve tops i always wear them well i wear them quite a few different ways i either tuck them into a skirt and have like that kind of look i did that with a krampus top and i did it with like a tartan skirt that looked really cool for christmas or i just wear them with leggings and they're kind of long enough to wear with leggings so i like that you can kind of wear these multiple different ways but i'll actually show you the design now so this is a full-on print <laughs> um this is what the whole gosh it's not even big enough to fit in the camera that's what the whole design looks like and then you've got like the bats down the arms and on the back it says vampire freaks i really like that they put this on the back because i like the dripping writing and i don't know i just kind of like that there's a detail on the back because not many companies do that but back to the front you've got a moon with a witch and a broomstick flying across and then you've got this huge kind of haunted house like this is kind of the main detail and then you've got all of these little ghosts and bats flying out of it it's such a detailed print i love it and then you've got a tree is that a raven yeah there's a raven there's like a pumpkin man which i've just noticed he kind of looks like nightmare before christmas a little bit and then you've got kind of the steps leading up to it and the ghost who looks like a trick-or-treater <laughs> it's just such a cool print and i think that's yeah they've got some gravestones down there as well it's just so full-on it's so spooky and like halloweeny but you could definitely wear this all year round because it's a white print so it's a bit more on the subtle on the subtler it's a bit more on the subtle side compared to if this was like bright orange or something and i loved the bat details on the sleeves as i said you can get this without if it's too much for you but this is what the sleeves look like so it starts quite high up and you've got all of these bats kind of flying down and they go all the way down and kind of stop there the ends of them are just normal they're not cuffed or anything because it is a long sleeve t-shirt but i just absolutely loved this top and it's also a very soft top now the top says made in mexico but i know that these are printed in america so that's really cool too so these are kind of like all handmade in america um because they've like bought the tops and then put their own design on them i believe this is screen printed it feels really really soft really nice quality i'd say this one is a little bit more on the thin side compared to the next top i'll show you so if i hold up one side of it you can kind of see through it a little bit um but when you wear it it's not see-through so that doesn't really bother me but i'd say it's a little bit more on the see-through side than the next top and the next top i got in a different style but i absolutely love this i can tell that i'm already going to go back for another one of these because i it's so soft so comfortable and the design is so unique and i think that's what i really liked about this brand like discovering this brand is all of the designs are really unique and they're all kind of things that i really like like whether it's plague doctors or like ghosts and haunted houses like all of the designs really appeal to me so that was the top that kind of inspired the haul this one was 27 pounds so that's actually a really good price i've definitely bought a long sleeve top from disturbia for about 
40 pounds i want to say so 27 really isn't that bad considering it's all like handmade and everything and the next top is a plague doctor top so this one is called the clockwork plague doctor t multiple styles available and again i got it in a men's tee but the short sleeved one in a size small and this was 20 pounds so again i feel like that's kind of standard for a t-shirt but some brands would definitely kind of put that up a bit so i don't feel like any of this stuff is overpriced i got this really creepy looking plague doctor top and again i saw someone wear this and i was like that is such a cool design because plague doctor stuff is really hard to find i don't come across it very often but again it's like a men's style top so the neckline is quite high it's more of a crew neckline so this one is definitely thicker than the other one if i hold up one side like you can't really see through it as much so it's definitely a thicker material compared to the other one and again it's got the vampire freaks logo on the back in white and then it's got short sleeves and these kind of come down to about here so they're not like super short or anything but they're a good length and then the front of it has a really creepy kind of steampunk looking plague doctor print on it so it's kind of got like a clock or gear in the background I'd say it's more of a clock because it's got all of the Roman numerals on it but you've also got these gears as well behind it and then you've got this very creepy looking plague doctor with a top hat he's got a raven on his shoulder he's holding a lantern just a really cool creepy kind of print and again you could get this in so many different styles i was between this in this style or the scoop neck one but i know i wanted to wear it as i said with leggings or also tuck it into a skirt maybe so i could have the design and because this does have a high neck the design starts higher up so even if i did tuck it into a skirt you could still see the play doctor's face because it probably cut off around here so oh what's that just noticed he's also carrying a syringe for some reason <laughs> so i ended up going with the men's t-shirt i'm really glad i did it fits really well again it's not too loose and it's not too baggy either it fits me really well they also had this one i think and again all of the different vest tops short sleeved tops the scoop neck one they might have had this one in a crop top version and they also had this in a long sleeved version just like the last one i showed you but down the arms it had gears which i thought was cool but i wanted this mainly for the play doctor rather than the steampunk look but if steampunk is your style that top was really really cool and you can get all of the gears down your arms yeah so that was the clockwork play doctor top really really soft t-shirt really nice quality and so really impressed with this too The last one was actually one that I only added on at the very end. I wasn't planning on buying this because I do have a lot of tote bags. But I absolutely love tote bags. They're so handy. But this one is a bit different to all of the other tote bags that I have. So this is called the vampire freaks zipper tote bag plague doctor so they have their styles available on t-shirts but then they also have their designs available on tote bags notebooks homeware like they have the same design printed on a bunch of different things which is really cool so you could get that plague doctor design on all of the range of t-shirts you can get it on a notebook and you can also get it on a tote bag <laughs> <laughs> and i'm actually really glad i got this this is probably the best quality tote bag or one of the best quality tote bags i own so on the front it's got the plague doctor design now this is the exact same design as the one on the t-shirt but it kind of goes out a bit more because you've got all of these gears more around it so i'd say the t-shirt cuts off about there and the only other difference is the color of this one is actually gray and then you've got the mask syringe and lantern in white again i'd say this is probably a screen print but it's such like an eye-catching design it's a really good size tote bag and then on the back it says vampire freak so it is double-sided but the main thing i loved about this tote bag apart from the design was it actually has a zip and i don't 
own any tote bags i don't think that have a zip on it so that's really handy so you can actually zip it closed so i usually use tote bags for like carrying packages or when i go into town and go shopping but i always feel like i have to take another bag with like my cards and phone in that actually zips up just to be on the safe side so this is really cool because if you are just walking up to post a package or something you can put everything in here and know that it zips shut so i really really like this the quality of this bag is amazing like it's really thick like a thick canvas and it was 11 pounds so not crazy definitely more expensive than some tote bags but i'd say the standard price is probably between five and ten so it's not that much extra and it's definitely really nice both design and quality wise so i was really really impressed with this and i've already used it and it did very well <laughs> so that was the tote bag and again you can get these in a bunch of different designs you can also get the sticker designs like these are all available on the tote bags and in t-shirts as well so yeah that was the last item i got so all of that came to 98 pounds 54 and that includes the two pound like package protection thing I did use a 10% off code that I found online, so I saved £11.94. Shipping was £24, which is definitely a lot compared to like UK prices, but considering this is shipping from America, and I did get some more like bigger <laughs> items with this Plague Doctor, I don't think £24 is too crazy at all. And I've definitely seen on other websites, like I've gone to buy like a single eyeshadow and it's been more than that so i feel like for the amount of stuff i got that was a very good deal and the shipping was crazy fast <laughs> so i placed this order and i think it arrived like three days later yeah as i was saying i placed this order thinking okay it'll probably take like two three weeks to arrive and it literally arrived like three days later i got a text from dhl i picked the dhl option because it was the most affordable one and i would highly recommend if you are going to order from vampire freaks and you are like not from america to pick the dhl one because it was tracked all the way i was constantly getting updates like we've got your package it's in this location we're delivering it today it's been delivered like i got both texts and emails sent like nearly every day with an update of it so it was really well tracked it arrived so quickly like i think it was three days which is crazy i've had things take longer from the uk to arrive once they've been shipped so the shipping was very impressive i also didn't get hit with custom fees or like vat which again i was very impressed by i think as long as it's under 130 pounds I think you're okay don't quote me on that because it could be a different number but I think as long as you order everything under a specific amount you shouldn't get hit with VAT and I think that's what's happened with this so I was very glad about that um, so my total with shipping was £110.60 so for two tops the tote bag the little soft toy it's not really little <laughs> and a pin and shipping from america i don't think that's bad at all and i kind of wanted to buy from somewhere that wasn't the usual place like disturbia killstar all of those so i'm really impressed with this brand they also have a vampire t-shirt and it's like a crop top and it says vampire in red dripping writing i really want that i'll put a photo on the screen of that because i'll probably end up getting that as well but they just have so many unique designs so i would highly recommend them from first impressions obviously i still need to wash the t-shirts and wear them but all of the quality seems really nice the prices are very affordable i would say especially compared to some other brands i'm really impressed with all of it to be honest and i was so excited for this to arrive and i was just really impressed with everything so i would highly recommend vampire freaks i will leave all of the information that you need in the description box below so if you tap the drop down arrow all of the links will be there i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you've heard of vampire freaks before or if you've ordered from them and also what your favorite item was from this haul do like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye